Welcome back to the channel again guys uh, I didn't plan to make this video today uh, A few days ago, I actually posted a small hack on the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition CPU Cooler uh, Related to the NR200P and the Tempered Glass I didn't expect so many positive comments and feedbacks in both Reddit and Facebook And I noticed some of you guys don't really understand how it works so today I'm just going to do a short video on how I managed to get the cooler to fit into the NR200P with the tempered glass on. So as you can see here, I've actually reversed the entire process just to show you again in video how I do it. And yes, this process is actually reversible so you're not going to destroy the cooler. First of all, you can see that there's actually two nuts in the front panel, one at the bottom left and one at the top right. You need to find a correct size allen key in order to open both the hex nut. Once you open up both the hex nut, the entire front plate and the heatsink covers actually will just come off right away. They are not attached to the cooler itself by any other means, so it will come off pretty much straight after you remove the plate. Once you remove the plate and the heatsink covers, the process is basically done. You instantly get 2.5mm height reduction just by doing this. Personally, I opted to reinstall the front plate with the Cooler Master logo on just because it looked better with a brushed metal finish. Once you reattach both the hex nut on, you can then install the tempered glass and it will fit just fine. And this is how I managed to get the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition CPU cooler to fit into my NR200P setup. I hope you guys learned something today and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye!